What's up Moto Academy? Today is day three of Moto Academy Christmas. What that means, we're giving away something every single day until Christmas if you're inside of the app. So go to club.themotoacademy.com, subscribe today. Tonight in the live stream, we're giving away three pairs. Thanks to Millie, we're giving away three pairs of signed Fox Racing goggles. The prizes are gonna get cooler every single day. So don't miss out. The grand prize is going to be a trip that you can win from anywhere in the world flying into Florida to train with myself, the Moto Academy team, and then we're all going to go to Daytona Supercross together. So it'll be an epic trip, trip of a lifetime. Club.themotoacademy.com for your chance to win. Happy holidays, guys. All right, at 5.08, we're gonna call this day four on the bike. I've got some stiff competition today. Dicks and balls inside of the app. 774 machine in the Yamaha. So we're gonna do 25, fair. Have you ever done a 25 minute moto? No. Okay. Have you ever done a 20 minute motor? No. Okay, that's all right. We're gonna go nice and slow. I'm gonna consider this day four on the bike. So we've got the stopwatch. Hopefully uh, Grant will put up the lap times for you guys on the screen. Sorry Grant for making you do extra work. And yeah, not worried about pace necessarily, but it's always nice to kind of just see where I'm at. I'm just gonna stay out there for 25 minutes, have some fun. It's beautiful weather. End of October, we got the Sprinter van out here. Hopefully that doesn't blow apart while I'm out here. Um, gonna work in some lines and get some riding in. Can't wait. If you guys want to be able to join me at the track, go to club.themotoacademy.com. Join the Moto Academy family, and we always sync up and do our ride days together, which is pretty fun. Just in case we need a few tear offs. Just in case. All right, son. Hit the gym yesterday with Alley Cat. a baby in less than four weeks and she was able to deadlift the same amount as I was but I am still somehow sore so uh, I'm just gonna start out with that excuse a little sore on the hammies heart rate 93 94 and I'll do a little debrief with you guys after each moto kind of what the heart rate is I find that to be kind of interesting to follow Daytona doesn't fit anymore. Definitely doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> My dad's at the track with me too today, so he's going to watch somewhere. I'm curious what he'll have to say, what his feedback will be. I'm sure hoping somehow that I will slow. Right. Time started, let's avoid this puddle. How do I get on this? Funny hop it, easy solution.
Totally different than last time I was here. Totally different. been experiencing the last this magnet isn't strong enough to hold this toolbox dude good job is that your longest moto ever i think so wait was that the whole thing no so i made it 20 you probably made it 16 17 it's pretty good totally different type of rough hard pack square edge so it was left dry for it was left rough from yesterday and it's a little dry so in my opinion that's more difficult felt in my arms quite a bit all right moto two all right, Moto2, um, this one I'm gonna do, oh, by the way, heart rate on the last one was average of 132, max of 155. Very low. So that shows, that just goes to show you that I did have arm pump because I couldn't kinda, I couldn't push. When I could push and get that heart rate higher, um, but usually when you get arm pump, it's that first Moto. I did no warm up at all. I just hopped out there and that that ride was my warm-up. So I should be better this time. Very short break, took a 20 minute break. Moto two. 
What's up, everybody? AJ from the Moto Academy here. We have just released new content inside of the Moto Academy app. If you want one-on-one -on -one training in motocross, enduro, anything two wheels, go to club.themotoacademy.com. Train online with us today. Almost 25, 70 something degrees and I'm still overheating. All right, let's see heart rate. Much better arm pump. So that's why doing a warm up is so important uh, and not necessarily a warm up on the bike. I you can get away with doing it, but just expect that you are gonna probably get tight. Don't rush working into speed. Take your time, find a flow, even if it takes 25 minutes to do it. Now, most people on race days, you don't have time to do that. So that's why a proper warm up on anything that, any day that's important is very key. Let's see, heart rate. 
Average 143, max 164. So that's good. I was able to hit a higher max that time, which the max is what I would look at as if I'm getting arm pump, that max heart rate's gonna be low normally, which is frustrating because you can't push. You're kind of stuck at that heart rate zone, but you're pumping up so bad. Getting into the 165s, that's a good range for me. Um, still very low. I mean, there's a lot of people shoot, like when Jet rides, he's bumping up against the 200s the whole time. So, but I am an old man. Okay, that's it for the day. Two motos. We're starting to get back into shape. Slowly but surely, subscribe, doodle up.